everyone. Is it recording, Paul? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I am so sorry my hair looks like crap. I hate it. This is a shirt I have on today. And I have on my really comfortable um, Terra and Sky pants that I found. Um, they've got a pocket in the back, pocket here, drawstring waist. And they've got this really neat seam down. They're super, super comfortable. I love them. They're called their athleisure pants. I only have the three pairs right now. Purple, like an amethyst color. These real pretty turquoisey, tealy color. And then a uh, orangish, brownish color. All right. We are going to start with the stuff from everything five below. Will's in this room, so I will go through and show you what Will got. I'll tell you if it's his or the stuff we got. Will wanted these Cheetos Puffs. Wow. Okay. Will wanted Diet Coke. Um, cherry Coke. Oh, wow. Vanilla Coke. He wants to try Vanilla Coke and the Coke Zero. This is my jam right here. The um, Coca-Cola Zero. You can ask my husband. I fly through it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that's what's in this bag for Buddy Will. So I figured that probably was about $5. For that stuff a dollar each now will saw this and he wanted this nickelodeon slime make your own ooey gooey fun galactic glitter this was five dollars so maybe we can get him to make a video when he is making that Okay, I don't know what it is, but uh, Will enjoys buying balloons from the Everything Five Below. So he got some pretty blue ones and some white and black balloons. Will wanted these Chips Ahoy chunky cookies. Some of this stuff I'm sure is for when he goes um, to his day program next week, RCC. He goes Monday, Wednesday, and Tuesday, assuming he feels good. When he has a seizure, he doesn't go um, because it really wipes him out. But he wanted this Reese Pieces um, candy cane filled thingamajig and a Reese's Christmas tree. So that was Will's bag. Anything else? Um, no, I guess that must have been everything for him. Okay, now this is mine and Paul's bag. This is a super duper thick plush. Buffalo check, red and black, luxe blanket. This is a gift for someone I picked out. Got this. We're going to put this uh, hopefully somewhere back there where you guys can see it when we're filming. This was $5. That blanket was 5 Stronger than you think. The cute little baby Yoda. This was a really good deal. These are um, face masks, three in a pack. These were marked for um, $3. You can see it there. They had these on sale for a dollar each. So I got nine masks for $3. I'm going to keep these, uh, some of this like in the car because sometimes like yesterday my husband and I went to Walmart and I didn't have my purse and I I had to use one of the neck gaiters, and boy, I was miserable. So I'm going to keep 
one of these in the glove box. So if that happens again and I need a mask, I've got it. Okay. I did get one box of lemon heads. I joined a monthly, sort of like a monthly, it's not a subscription, but it's a monthly uh, shipment of lemon heads from Amazon for, I think it was like nine or ten dollars. Um, I'll show you when it comes in, but I love, love, love lemon heads. So, and they're supposed to ship tomorrow, but I needed something to hold me over till they come. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And my final item. I love my yummy socks. Look at how freaking fluffy these are. Oh my gosh. Fluffy like a rabbit. I only got it, it. You get three pairs. I think these must. These had to be like five dollars, um, which that's a good price for these. So for the three pack, you only get the one pair that's super super fluffy, but then you get two more cozy socks. So there's this one, which is a stripe, and you can't really tell, but that's like a dark purple and gray and white. And then the middle pair is more of a solid color. Just the difference, it's black, and then the heel and toe is white. So I'm really loving this. I will have to go back, because they had this in brownish tones. Yeah, oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear those. So soft. Okay, so... That was our haul from everything five and below. Like I said, we spent, I think it was like 40, 45 or 46 dollars. <clears throat> Bear with me. I'm going to get the stuff up here on the desk of what we got at the Dollar Tree. We ended up spending $26. Oh yeah, I gotta get my fan blowing on me. We spent $26 at the Dollar Tree. Okay, before I forget, I mentioned in the car about coloring my hair. I told you it was Feria. This is the, when I use this, this is uh, the one I use. It is P2 Smoky Pink, exclusively for light blondes, but obviously if you've got this much gray hair, you're safe. You can use this. Um... I don't know that this stuff ever expires. I've had this maybe a year, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So, yeah, after I get my hair cut, that is when we'll do this. My husband does my hair. And see, here's the, um, depending on the color of your hair is, you know. It's a very, very, very beautiful, soft, very soft pink. So, yeah. Okay, Dollar Tree. We have three bags for our 26 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, we have bought these before. If you have, if you see these, you need to get them. Uh, we bought two other color choices for the boys. One pair has like white up here and the other one is more gray. Uh, those were, we gave to Samuel a pair and Will a pair. And oh my gosh, the inside of these are really soft. Very, very nice gloves. Way, uh, you know the women's gloves are super small. I don't care if they match or not. I went ahead and picked up a red pair for me since it was different color than the boys. And then Paul also picked up the same color I did, which I will keep mine inside the pocket of my jacket to tell whose is whose. Super nice people. If you see these, you need to pick them up. They, 
They're technically men's gloves, okay? Who cares? No one's going to say, oh my gosh, she has men's gloves on. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. And Paul happened to see this hat. This looks really nice. Um, it's roomy. It's plush. It is not thin by any means. I mean, it is on the, it's a really nice, nice hat. So he got that for himself, this blue, pretty blue. Now, I happen to have, remember the last time I had, uh, I bought a pair of purple and a pair of blue and I said they had pink, which I didn't get. I put this color on today that matches my pants. These are really nice socks. The inside of them is like a terry cloth, like a brushed terry cloth. So, because um, I think it might have been Marilyn uh, Van Camp, I think, that wanted to know if, if these were soft. Um, so, they're like a brushed terry cloth, okay? So, I, I, right now I have in my drawer one pair of the purple and one of this blue color. So... I was surprised. I never, ever would have thought I would find these at our Dollar Tree because they always have a poor selection of socks. But look, I picked up two. I did leave one pair of purple for somebody else, but I did pick up two purple, two more of the pretty blue, and they only had the one pair, so I went ahead and got it. There's the pink. And like I said, these colors are have like a merle pattern. So it's like two colors um, fused together. Really pretty. So there you go. One of each so you can see. Let's turn. Well, no matter how you got it, you've got paper you have to look at. Okay, there you go. See? Those are the three colors that I have found. Let me know. Maybe at your um, location you have different colors or maybe these and uh, additional ones. But I'm really happy that I found more. Now, my husband also found for himself, and this is a really good deal, men's athletic low-cut socks. They're on the thin side, but who cares? Sizes 6 through 12, you get three pairs. I actually months ago bought myself some of these exact same socks. Um, so, you know, and they even have that kind of elastic right where I guess it's supposed to be the arch of your foot. I don't know. But he got a pack of the gray. And he got two of the black. So nine pairs of socks for $3. You can't beat it. And like I said, these here are nice, uh, thicker socks. So I am super stoked that I found those. All right, that's our first bag. All right. Bag number two. Um, my husband saw this stocking and he... He liked it. I said, do you want it? Um, they're very thin. It's like a felt back. And this is sort of like a soft velvety type material with the glitter, gold glitter. And then the white on top. So he's going to hang this somewhere. Um, we were looking for a giant gift sack. We couldn't find any Christmas ones. Uh, we're going to use this for Samuel's Christmas gift. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so, yeah, we're going to use this despite the fact that it's not Christmas. Who cares? You know, you work with what you got. Um, I have another type of bath brush. It's just like this, but it has um, a spongy, it's not a netty material. Um, it's like one of those net balls that you use on your body, but it's elongated. I absolutely love it for my back. But I wanted something that actually is a brush, so if I have a scratch, I can really, like, in the shower get it. So I got this for myself. Very nice to have because nobody can reach their own back. 
this is the very first time I've seen this. It's a hair wrap microfiber. This is going in my gift section. I have an idea who this is for. I'm not going to say. Saving that for future gifting. Oh my gosh, there's more. Here's another pair of socks for Paul. So he ended up getting, I'm assuming, two gray, two black. Now, I was really, really shocked. I didn't expect to get this at all. But I did find the adorable llama, which, um, you know, I love llamas. I have llamas on my dresser. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave these pom-poms. I may, may do my own take along this. That's all I'm going to say. And if I do, I'll, if I re, if I pull these balls off and put something else on it, I'll do a video for you. But that is a very sweet, beautiful little llama. Very um, feminine looking. So I was glad that I found that. Didn't ever think I'd find it, but I did. Um, this sounds really good and looks really good. Barton's Caramel Peanut Crisp Clusters. I only got one. I, I probably should have got two. Um, you get three pieces and you get 2.5 servings. So maybe there's like eight pieces in there, but I love turtles and this reminded me of turtles. So I went ahead and got it. That's bag number two. Yeah, anymore, if you see something at the Dollar Tree, but you don't need it for months later, pick it up because you'll never find it again. First time, I've seen people get these for months and months and I've never seen them. So yeah, that's the thing. It's obviously not for me because I have really short hair, but for people that have longer hair, yeah, when you're like doing your spa treatments or whatever, if your hair takes longer to dry, that's what this is for. Or if you're doing a full face mask and you don't want your hair to get nasty, you know, that's what this is for. All right, bam. Number, oh Lord, this is heavy. Number three and final bag. Yes, we're still still recording. Yum. Whenever I see these, I get these because this, the cherry, is my absolute favorite of the Pop Rocks. So these are the ones that I get. I love these. Again, why didn't I pick up more? I don't know. Oh my lord, this is heavy. This is a super duper deal. I like to buy the really, really big containers. Look how big that is of the dishwashing stuff for the kitchen. This is ultra concentrated, um, the Oxy. So if you don't know this, what you can do with this is if you have like a butter stain or a grease, like, you know, a butter or a grease stain on a, a t-shirt or something and you want to pre-treat it before you wash it. Put some of this on the stain, rub it in, and I always would do that and then throw it in the laundry dirty bin and then it would be there a couple days before it gets washed. This stuff's really good for that. 50 ounces. So yeah, that should last for a while. Okay, I wanted to try this. I bought some Dermasil, um, and I showed you the last time. Whew, that had a little soapy residue or something on it. I don't know. Uh, this lotion, it wasn't this chamomile kind. It was another one. Absolutely super duper good um, lotion. They didn't have that particular one that I wanted. Uh, but I did see this, and I wanted to try this one. This is Eczema Relief Moisturizing Lotion with Natural Chamomile Flower Extract and Collodial, I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right, Oatmeal. Dermatologist Recommended. Yeah. This is six fluid ounces. And they, I believe I only saw one of these. Could have been more, but... They also had this Dermasil and cocoa butter. Why didn't, 
idiot. Why didn't I get one of each kind so I could test each one to let you know? I don't know. That's really stupid, Melissa. Why didn't you do that? And they also had an aloe. <sighs> Sometimes, you know, you just have these brain lapses and you don't think about things. But, yeah, if I find them again, I'm going to buy the other types and, and test them smell-wise and usage-wise to see how they are. Ugh. Okay. I, this is the only place I've found these. They have, you know, I love Smarties around Halloween, but they've got these super large Smartie roll. So I went ahead and got it. They call it the original, you know, 2.25 ounces. I wanted it. Now, I've seen other people with these and I uh, have never, ever found these. They had three different varieties of these. Um, this also would be good to put in a gift. So I'm going to figure out which one of these I want to keep for myself. And the other one is going to go in my gift section for a certain person. Okay? There's a loofah inside of there. See that? Now, this one is coconut, and this one is citrus. So, I'll figure out which one I want to keep and which one I will pass along. They are made by Greenbrier. A lot of people like to say that. I just happen to look at it. I don't go searching um, to see which is which. Right now, just from the outside of the package, it just smells soapy. So, I'm sure you can't go by that. But it is a 3.5 ounce bar. It's a loof, lofa, no, lofa soap. I'm trying to see what it, oh Lord, I can't hardly see what it says. But I've often wondered about these, so I saw them and I bought it. I didn't get the purple one, the lavender, because I'm not, I don't really like lavender. It's off-putting to me for some reason. Now, we showed you this in the store. They had a bunch of these really cute um, eye glow nail polish three-piece sets. Super cute to put in someone's stocking. I got the mini glitter ones. Um, mine has a silver, an amethyst purple, and then a much darker purple. They had a whole big selection of colors. These are so cute. These would make really, really cute stocking stuffers for girls that, you know, do their nails. I'm just, yeah. And I don't know, some of them were in this white package and some were a darker, I think, kind of black. I don't know what the difference is. You know what, idiot? You know what could be the difference? This is glitter. I wonder if the glitter polishes are in this package and the, the regular polishes that don't have glitter are in the black. I don't know. I'll have to look at the um, footage we took and, and see if maybe that's the case. Otherwise, I don't know what determines the different colors. But you can see that. I'm sorry, they're kind of dark, but... Though, there we go. And there. That's probably the best shot you're going to get. But those are the ones that I liked. You know, I need to paint my nails. I tr recently trimmed my nails back. I can't hardly stand um, for my nails to get any kind of length on them anymore. It just, it's irritating to me if dirt gets underneath of them. So I've been keeping them cut back. But maybe this weekend I'll trim my cuticles back and put one of these... Maybe the silver one. Yeah, maybe put that one on. And we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, so. That is what I got at the Dollar Tree. We're going to smell this. It has one of those tabs you got to pull. Super thick. 
super thick. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I don't smell anything offensive. Has a slight smell. It's the same thick thickness as the other one that I have in the other room, which I really, really love. I highly, highly recommend this um, lotion because poor Buddy Will, he was at Chris, uh, not Christmas Day, on Thanksgiving Day, his hands were, were raw because... He's really good about washing his hands and then using hand sanitizer. But I think he like went overboard on the hand sanitizer and it really chapped up his hand something awful. I felt so bad for him. So I ended up, my hands too have been really chapped. But since I found this really good lotion, not a problem anymore. So I ended up um, taking an old pair of socks and cutting them and making um, a glove, a fingerless glove for Will, putting a bunch of thick lotion on his hands and put those gloves on when he slept so it didn't get on his face and break his face out. Because that's what I have to be careful. That's why I get breakouts around here is because I sleep like this. You can ask my husband. It's really weird I, the way I sleep. Yeah, this is just like my other white bottle. Highly recommend this. If you see it, pick it up. Pick up multiple. I may have to go back there and pick those other, the cocoa butter one and the aloe one. Yep, I'll make another trip over there just to get those because they did have those. Very, very good lotion. My hands have look so much better and feel so much better since I've been using them. But yeah, that lotion cleared up Will's hands only in like two days. And they were totally healed his hands. And um, you may feel a little bit of um, residue. You know, like it's not slippery. It's just kind of tacky until it soaks in your hand, but so it doesn't take long, maybe five minutes to, and that feeling will go away. It's well worth it. Your hands will be so much better. Um, Ivy's jumped up here and she's looking out the window. Okay, so that was our haul for everything five below, the Dollar Tree. Then we got White Castles for Will. We'll be putting some pictures in so you can see what Will had for lunch. You can see what I had for lunch and what Paul had for lunch at Dickie's Barbecue. We'll insert some pictures there. Um, we couldn't take any videos really inside Dickie's because I'm telling you, these men that work during the day... They love going to Dickie's for lunch, obviously, because it was getting very loud in there. So I just quickly took um, some pictures to show you what we had. So we've had a good day. It's 12.23, so we have a couple hours um, to relax before we have to pick Samuel up. And then, I, you know, like I said, we'll take Will to the doctor, and then after that we're going to go to... Cheddar Scratch Kitchen for dinner because that's where Will wanted to go. Okay, so Buddy Will is super happy. Um, I hope you guys are having um, a good day. And uh, Paul, you got anything you want to say? <laughs> Look, here's little Bella. Bella! There's Mommy. Uh, Finn and Peanut are in the other room somewhere. Okay, everyone. Bye. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest contacts. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.